I can tell you today, having been in clinical practice for over 30 years, that the children I see today are sicker than they were when I was a resident. Actor Robert De Niro has reversed course in a highly controversial documentary film. His prestigious Tribeca Film Festival will no longer feature a film called Vaxxed. De Niro initially defended the decision to screen the film at Tribeca. But after mountain pressure over the weekend, the decision was made to cancel the screening. Getting a bus of some kind to travel on the ground, to be with the people, was the way to go forward. What we found out very quickly was that parents wanted to tell their story. There was lines of people. All they wanted to do was talk about the injury that happened to them. After his 12-month vaccines, he lost eye contact. Like an idiot, I went back for his 15-month vaccines, and he completely stopped talking. He couldn't crawl anymore or talk anymore. He couldn't eat anymore, he couldn't swallow. Just screaming and you could tell they were in so much pain. Now he has seizures, he's almost died on me several times. All he wanted to do was go in his room and sit on his bed and bang his head against the wall. My son would have been a football player. Instead, he wears diapers. My happy, healthy baby boy, in a matter of four days, went into a near vegetative state of being. And that's when they told us that she passed away, they couldn't get her back. When we set out on the road to record stories, I think in the back of my mind, I thought I was going to get thousands of autism MMO stories. We knew that we were in for much more than we bargained for. We were about to have an education that you just couldn't, you just couldn't buy. This is just the biggest lie ever told. It was the people's story. Their story is the same over and over and over again.